Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the finale of the 100% run. We're in an area that we have no business going to, for one reason and one reason only. At the beginning of the game, they told us there was two graves up in this way. One being Jenna. Jenny Kirk. Of course, she died before we really even got the meter. We know that one of the biggest things from problem on my face. Oh, what crap is this fault? That's storm. Okay. Um, one of my favorite things about one of the early missions in the game was the mission we got with Drake and Lenny, which was based off of how depressed he was over with Lin uh, Jenny, who he was very sweet on, to say the least. You know, like, which, of course, we will visit Lenny later on today. I don't know about you, but I am a little bittersweet. I know I said two episodes, or last episode, that. I'm thankful for the game final winding down. At the same time, I spent so much time on it, you know? Alright, so here we are at our next location. Wait. This was where it was at, right? Debbie Calendar, who we saw in the first episode, actually got shot and they tried to make everything better, trying to see if we can heal him, he passed away here. That's so why they buried his actually by the church in the burned down town. I like the fact they did that. Um, I spent, what, 80 some hours playing this game now? 40 some of it being recorded, which to me is crazy. Well, who was the next person to die? Well, that's quite easy, because we've actually already seen it's great in this look, in this run. So right away, we ran into it, which would be the Kyrian? Was it Sean? Sean. Sean died next. I'm sorry. We never found Sean's grave. So, I will meet you at Sean's grave. Besides Clement's point, when did the roads missions, we know that Sean died randomly in a mission. That was a, one of the biggest shocks to me there was. Sean McGuire is here, but besides actually the outlook, which is kind of strange because they did want to bury the body this decently away from everything else. This is the closest one to any of the traditional landmarks or bases that we did have. The next one we were visiting um, is the one we have seen before, which is Kyrian's. Which I'll meet you guys there. Duffy did go missing uh, for a few missions while we were at Shady Bell. And then eventually we get ambushed by the Lamon Raiders and I think the Pinkerton at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. And with Kyrian being You know, I don't know now. I think uh he's pretty close to Shady Bell as well. So maybe uh they're about the same. Distance was that's not the point though. Um right before we started trying to get out, go big and go to Haiti. We all talk about that area. It wasn't the Haiti. And then the bank robbery happened. And what happened at the bank robbery? So what happened was a very disastrous thing happened. The bank robbery massively failed. Probably because of Micah. We can blame Micah for everything. And outside of Saint the Sandy Knee, no other case, the two graves where Lenny 
The almighty young man. Lenny! Dang it, it's backward. I thought it would be the other way around. Well, Jose died first and before the thing started, or during the robbery, because Milton got to him. And then during the retreat, um, when he gets shot. I know I'm rehashing the story and I'm spoiling any for you. You admit you're missing about 115 videos. <laughs> so what happens next? Because currently we're sitting at, I already forgot because I'm bad remembering the numbers. Six out of nine. Was there three gang members left? Well, yes. But... Oh, crap, an alligator. Um... Was there three gang members still dead? Technically, no. Only two other ones died, and one is obvious who it is. Who are the other two? Well... Second. When it comes to gang members, besides the man, the myth, the legend, there is one other one that did die during the final mission, which was Miss Grimshaw. He got Miss Grimshaw's grave in such a kind of remote place, but oh, he even has her necklace there. It's a nice, touching tribute. I like it. Overhanging near Beaver Hollow. Actually, that's pretty far away from Beaver Hollow. <laughs> now, that's seven. There is two more, but who is number eight? Well, in this game, the Consider Eagle Fly is considered one of the greats. Granted, he wasn't part of the game, but we did use his services a lot. So, I'll meet you guys at Eagle Fly Flies. For Eagle Flies, it would be fitting to be near the reservation. Over by Donner Flies. With his horseshoe necklace, it's his grave. It's kind of weird that there's no other markings besides this branch and his necklace. Like, that's not even a horseshoe, is it? I never like the camera anyway. Um, now, you okay, girl? Before we move on to Arthur, I want to go ahead and get over. I'm going to show you four clips that I did while off screen, but I did do it in a certain order. You can find uh, Rains Falls. Um, he was over near Ansburg by the train station. And you get a huge honor boost doing it up. And that's part of the reason my honor started skyrocketing after any of my bandit challenges. If you go to Ballantyne's train station, you can find Mary Beth. If you go to the Taylor in St. Denis, you can find Tilly. Easy now. And if, no. And of course, the odd one, Pearson, who probably has the lamest thing ever, is the store owner, uh, and the general store owner in Rhodes. Before we play those clips, though, let's go over the other five members that are no longer, or six technically. We'll say six in this case. Um, the preacher ended up going to a church in New York. You can find that in one of the news articles. I can't remember if I'm which one it is right offhand. Trelawney tells you what he does, but I completely forgot what he does. Because I just forget about Trelawney 90% of the time. Oh, uh, I can't remember his name. Hold up. I was doing so good at remembering everything. Progress, story, chapter six. Um, I didn't even do this mission. Um, does it not tell you? Oh, at least in chapter one. 
Actually, it was two technically. We went here. Money, money, and other sins, which is um, I can't remember his name. Oh, it is driving me nuts. It's the guy you run off town. I can't remember his name, but. Um, if you remember during the mission where you find Charles, he mentions what happens to him, which is he gets basically tortured and killed by the Pinkerton Agency. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything with the next story, except I'll tell you what you should do. Self-promoting time. To find out what happens to Javier... Bill Williamson and Dodge. Please check out my 100% Let's Play of Red Dead Redemption 1 and you'll find the truth of what happened to those three. With that said, let's see about everybody else. You probably wonder what happened to it. Um, Excuse me. Eagle Swaz, but. Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. Was uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. My name is Rangeful. And I'm Jim Milton. John Marston. Oh. Tell me, is Arthur. Uh, he passed away a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He saved my life. He gave his. That doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> and you? I know you had tough times. Ah, uh, well... My people aren't really a tribe. We're just a, a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now. It's, uh... What are you doing here? I... I don't really know. My... Son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm very sorry. Oh, it was a long time ago now. Well, it's good to see you, Mr. Marston. <laughs> and you. Uh, Holy cow, it's a big honor for you. I didn't mean to do this. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. Do you? My pen name is Leslie DuPont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye. There are still two lonely members yet that we don't know what happened to them. Actually, there's three. We'll get to one in a second. Actually, we'll get to two of them once I describe what's going to happen, and then we'll get to the last one, which is this random guy I did last. But, Tilly Jax. John! 
John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite so different as Abigail would like. <laughs> I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope, over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. That's a pretty depressing one, actually. I expected more because it's Tilly. There is one other one, and we'll do the goofball. Well, actually, we're going to get her letter and then do the goofball. See you in a second. Back in Rhodes, we saw during the credit sequence that I forgot somebody. Probably the, mo the most minor character of the game. You're going to wait till morning, aren't you? John Marston? I don't Pearson. You were dead. Pearson, what are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? <laughs> so what can I get for you today, sir? How the hell are you? Pretty good. Got some land in Great Plains. Trying to get a small ranch going. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I uh, wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Feels like an eternity ago. Does that say anything else? There's a photograph of all of us at the ranch, right there, as a gang. You don't see anything else, Pearson? Now, to be fair, let's be honest. When it comes to story characters, he was probably the least significant of the gang. When it comes to anything. So, this leaves us after figuring out about Pearson. We have one person left to talk to. Or, well, one less person to see. I'll meet you guys there. Can I give you a ride somewhere? Before we get to the man, the myth, the legend, the closing of this, I do want to mention that Tilly does send a letter, but apparently the letter bugs out because it may not show up. That eagle right there is the reincarnation of Arthur. It depends on what your honor is. You cannot shoot this eagle. He goes right through it. And up on the hill. The man that is the legend. Oh, not again. Not this song again. I can't read that. Well, I'm not here.
I think I had this plan for the last, for a while that I wanted to do Arthur's Grave as the very last thing we do. Bless those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. On that note, Red Dead Redemption 2 is officially 100% complete. As always with the West achievement. I, I said two episodes ago that um, this game frustrated me a lot for 100%ing. It's a very frustrating 100%, but actually looking back to it, it is so, such a good game. It is... I'm cold, apparently. I felt good doing Arthur Morgan being the last thing of this 100% run because it makes the most sense. You saw a progression of him. It's probably one of the best. I'm going to say this the best way I can. And you're going to probably go, wait a minute. Arthur probably has the second best character progression or... Uh, coming of age story I've ever seen. You're asking me who's first. I've already said this, actually. I feel like the strongest female character of all time in her coming of age story was Sadie Atkins. And I will say that, I will argue that Sadie is a better coming of age character than Arthur is. But Arthur is still a great protagonist by any means in that uh, imagination. With Project, I think it's the 60. Project 60 is now out of the way. What is next? This is funny, it's Project 60, but I completed two other projects and started another one. Um. I'm going to do some research before I can do 64. Let's see if I'm allowed to do it. If I can't do it, then I just have a better idea. So guys, thank you for joining me on this adventure. It's been a fun time, and I'll see you guys at the next project. Take care.